Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where I'm still cleaning up my base because I've got all kinds of stuff. And it's it's going to be kind of a clean until I'm bored situation because after that, I'm going to um, go and play around in the swamp for a little bit and hang out and basically just talk to you guys. Because that's what I do. That's that's the whole premise of the videos. But before we get started, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button, the like button, the comment button, what, whatever button you like to hit. Hit that now. Smash it in the face. No, 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 no. Don't don't smash those subscribe buttons in the face. You and I can help prevent smashing of subscribe buttons. Gently press the subscribe button because that's that's what it's there for. It's there for you to press and to enjoy and for everyone to to subscribe because if you didn't know this like 90 percent of you now it's not it's not 90 it's like 86 percent or something like that 86 percent of all viewers on youtube don't subscribe to the person that they're watching did you know that did you know that there was an 86 percent thing did you know that 73 percent of all people use statistics to make themselves sound smarter it's true um, it, it makes it more viable as well, um, but I'm not lying about the uh, the percentages thingy. Um, there's a lot of people who will watch YouTube and just not subscribe, and that's absolutely fine. There's there's nothing wrong with doing that. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's you, like it's fine for me. I I really don't mind, but. Um, I've noticed that whenever I say subscribe at the beginning of the videos, it tends to have a bigger impact for somebody to actually like pause the video, take the time and go down and actually hit the subscribe. Cause maybe you didn't, maybe you've found, you found my channel and you're like, this is extremely enjoyable content. I just really want to watch it. I want to watch some more. And then like you get to the end of the video and you're like, oh, that looks interesting too. And then the next video and you're off and there you go. That's what usually happens. That's. That's what I do. I mean, there's lots of channels that tell me to subscribe and I don't. And it's just the way that I watch YouTube. And I didn't realize like a lot of people, they want you to subscribe. Now, the reason that we have the whole turn on notifications button thingy, that was because people were subscribing to like 20, 30, 40, 50 channels and they were getting 20, 30, 40, 50 notifications per day. Like in your email, that's a lot of emails to go through. I want to subscribe to a lot of people, but I don't want to get the notification of every single time that they get a, a, a thing. And so, I mean, I absolutely understand not turning on the, um, the button. And for all of those of you who are like, code is doing reverse psychology. It's the absolute truth. It's 100% the truth. If you do not hit that notification button, I don't mind one bit because I understand. Code's just like us, he's relatable. No, it's it's the truth, you know? And YouTube probably should do a better job of the way they handle notifications and stuff like that. But at the same time, I, I'm mixed in with a ton of other Robloxian YouTubers. There's no way mine's gonna be like popping up at the top. I can't compete with Cineac, Midget, Dennis Daly, um, what's, what's her face? The, the other lady, the Pokimane, Pokimane. I can't do what Pokimane does. Are you kidding? I'm not that popular. I'm not that awesome, but you know what? I still make pretty good content and I, trust me, I don't edit my videos. Oh. So for what I do and for where I'm at in life, you know, I'm pretty happy with my YouTube channel. I'm very proud of what's become of this little bitty YouTuber that started out making uh, bot videos and hypnosis videos and <sighs> second life building tutorials. <laughs> literally, literally, that's like, if anybody goes back and sees the very first videos that I ever made, it was RC cars for second life. And uh, second life is, imagine if Roblox was an adult game and you had to be 18 or over to play it. You know, and there was um, building capacities where the, um, the the imagine like Roblox only owned the land, and it was just one massive world, and everybody else built things inside that world. That's what Second Life is. Uh, Ready Player One. Imagine Ready Player One as a video game. That's what Second Life is. 
So, if you like Ready Player One and you're a parent of a kid who plays Roblox, I highly encourage you to go check out Second Life. It's pretty fun. Oh my gosh, did I just run out of breath? I did. I ran out of breath in the middle of my sentences. Hmm. I need to get checked for breathing capabilities. No, I don't. I'm, I'm good. I, I, I get hyper sometimes. Oh, happy Mother's Day. To anybody who didn't um, celebrate yesterday and you're a mother, happy Mother's Day to you. If anybody got missed, you know? Um, if you're a mom and you're watching this channel right now, or if you're a mom and you're in the background right now of somebody who watches my channel, Hi, happy Mother's Day to you. Make sure, like, hey, kids, make sure you wish them a happy Mother's Day. And husbands, even though they're not your mom, please wish your wives a happy Mother's Day as well, okay? Because they are the mothers of your children's. Y'all need to recognize. And some, some relationships aren't like that, you know? Like, with my wife, my wife is not my mom, you know, but she is a mother. So for Mother's Day, I still celebrate her, you know? I, I, I glorify her. I put her on pedestal. Today we, um, I, I told her this year, like I said, hey, is there anything you want for Mother's Day? Is there, is there anything that we're needing? We're like, no, we're in the middle of a move. I mean, I don't want to get a gift just to pack it up and, and take it with us. I'm like, okay, well, is there anything we could do for you? She's like, yeah, just, I guess, clean up the house and stuff. I'm like, we can do that. So you know what we did? We, uh, like Hope, Oliver, and I, we all cleaned the dishes, we cleaned the kitchen, we vacuumed, we mopped, we c picked up their rooms, did all kinds of goodness. And then uh, we took her out to a, uh, a baseball game and we got to see uh, uh, a baseball. It was not the Springfield Cardinals, like everybody was thinking. It's, it's the um, MSU game that we went to. Missouri State University, which used to be SMS. Southwest Missouri State University. If anybody remembers SMS, I mean, that's that's some old school, but it's still the Bears. So the MSU Bears. Um, and we got to go watch some baseball. And what is it about baseball food that just tastes better when you're at the stadium? I know the hot dogs are like 100% beef and stuff like that, but I mean, even the nachos, they just taste better because you're at the ball game. I guess it's the environment that you're in. It, it's got to be... The, the smell of the ballpark and the idea that you're you're out there rooting for your team and stuff like that. And, oh my gosh. Okay, so it was five to three, Bears lost. But on the very, the, the f bottom of the ninth, that, that, that means the, the last, last of the ninth, MSU was up to bat. We had bases loaded, three balls, two strikes, two outs, and number, what was it, 21 stepped up to the, the plate. And I mean, I'm just sitting here on the edge of my seat. If he had hit a home run or if they'd gotten everybody home, that would have been Bears win right there. Bam. But it didn't happen. He, he Oh, he popped it up and it was going, it was going, it was going. And caught out. It was it was intense. Like, And I'm not a sports fan. Like, I don't watch sports. You guys should know this. I, I'm, I'm not one for sports. But... That was a good game, you know. I, I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be that good, you know. It's was, it was a college game. It's not. It's not minor leagues. It's not major leagues. College baseball is intense, man. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Plus, a uh, huge shout out to the the head coach that's over there. He has been teaching, or he's been coaching MSU since uh, since my uncle um, was young, like. My uncle said, yeah, I remember when he first started teaching the, or first started coaching the, the team. I'm like, really? That's like a long time ago. So you people call me old. <laughs> and you can think of my, uh, my uncle Wallace. He's kind of like Dan from Roseanne. If you've ever watched the movie, uh, the sitcom Roseanne, that's what he reminds me of, you know, just a, a good guy. That's that's all like that's it. He's just good, you know. Would uh, would ask you if you need to move. If you said, "Hey, I need to go bury body," body, he'd be like, "Okay, whose car were we taking?" <laughs> it's like that's how nice he is. And now it's the bad example, you know. He'd probably be like, "Well, did you report to the police first? But just saying, when it comes to 
giving you the shirt off his back, he would. He would do anything for you. And that's that's a good way to be. So, Uncle Wallace, if you're watching, or if anybody... If anybody uh, from my family is watching, Uncle Wall, thank you. Um, and Aunt Ramona as well. Same same personality. Just anything you need, she's there. If you, if you said, hey... I just, I really can't cook tonight. Or, hey, can you take the kids? Or, hey, I need I need a break for a second. Instantly. They'd be like, no problem. I'm coming over right now. Where where do we need to go? I'd be like, all right, well, just, just take the kids. And here's $20. Give them some pizza. And we go, nah, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get them pizza. That's the kind of people they are. And that's the kind of people I want to grow up to be. I hope that's the kind of people I've grown up to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 40 years, for, almost turning, I'm turning 40 this year. And I'm like, oh, when I grow up, I'm going to do this. <laughs> See, kids, you're never too old you need to, to still grow up. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's some of you inside the chat who don't know what Toys R Us is, do you? Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. When did... Toys R Us closed. Toys R Us closed in 2018. So 18 to 19, 20, 21. So you, you would, if you're over, if you're under the age of three, you don't know what Toys R Us is. But I hope other people do. Because growing up, Toys R Us is where I got all my video games. That's where, that's like the place to go get your Nintendo. Your, your Game Boy stuff. And Game Boy is... I'm not talking about 3DS. Oh, you got DS? No, I'm talking about like old school, black and white, ran on four AA batteries, which only last you about three hours. That kind of Game Boy old school stuff. Man, I used to play the poop out of one of those. I, I loved original Nintendo. <sighs> you know what? I was... I wasn't rich. Uh, I did not have money growing up. Um, my mom was a teacher, and my dad uh, upholstered cars. He was a car upholsterer, you know. Uh, and he used to work for this uh, this glass company. I'm not going to say the names or anything, but he used to do glass as well. And I guess they subsidized or they they changed out. And one went to do pure glass, which is where my uncle Wallace went to go work. And then um, the other went to go do just upholstery, car interiors and stuff. And that's where my dad went. So, <sighs> like I said, they, they did their best to, to supply me with a good life. And they did really good. They did really well. What was this again? Oh, gosh. What, did, what was this? Where's the gray presence? Wasn't there a, a gray? Is that it over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the bowl, right? So we're putting cutlery in there. Anyhow, what I like is how technology has advanced so so far. Now, I can play every single video game that I ever fantasized whenever I was a child. I'm like. All the Nintendo games, every single Nintendo game that's out there, I can find it on emulator. Some website somewhere has got it. And as long as you know how to be safe about the, the advertisements, because there's a lot of ads and stuff that will go to places that will download viruses and stuff like that. As long as you know what you're doing and as long as you like understand, you cannot download an original Nintendo game call it uh, a soft copy of your game. It's still a copyright violation. The thing is, you're not doing it on a mass scale. You're not the one providing it. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff. And it becomes like this personal morale thing versus they're not making money off the original Nintendo games anymore. I, I guess I guess if you were doing retro or something like that, that would be that'd be one thing. Um, but here, do this. GameStop, okay? If GameStop, or if you have a vintage stock, a caveman cards and comics, one of your local hobby shops, something like that, I highly recommend go buy an original Nintendo and purchase like 50 games 
for the original Nintendo and go play them. You know, there are so many similarities to like the way 8-bit graphics are intentionally being made to give it an arcade feel. And that's that's really cool. But seriously, the technology nowadays, I can go and play any one of the games that I ever wanted to as a little kid. I can only imagine where technology is going to be in the next 10 years, you know? We we might be able to go and play any PS5 game that we want in 10 years, you know? And you guys right now are like, oh my gosh, I just got the brand newest game. The, oh, this is the newest, greatest graphics ever. Guess what? In 10 years, you're going to be looking back going, oh my gosh, I played on that graphics? We have gotten to the point where the graphics of video games are so intense, they are so real. Like, we got to slap warning labels on this stuff. Intense graphic violence. You bet. And I'm excited for it. Like... <laughs> I know that I run a family-friendly channel, but I don't want you to think that I don't play Skyrim and Grand Theft Auto and adult games that have blood and violence in it. I mean, me and my son, we play Mortal Kombat 11. Oh my gosh, that... Mm -mm. Parents, if your children are asking to uh, play Mortal Kombat 11, you better be sure you know what you're getting into. I want you to review it first before you even see it, because... Wow. But my son's like, oh man, you got me. Yeah. Anyhow, we, we've gotten pretty good. <sighs> what, was I, what, was, what was I talking about? Where did this go go from? I, I, I don't even know. I don't know which one that is. Is that the right one? That's sure. That's, that's good. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm about to sneeze. <gasps> Maybe. <laughs> nope. Nope. We're good. False alarm. Give it a give it a second. We'll 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 sneeze on the next one. On the next nose tickle. Hold on. Do I need to go and stack these into their own casing or something like that? Or can can you sit over here and just be good? Be good little slays for me. Will that be fine? That should be fine, right? Oh, by the way, huge shout out to Ender. I know that you'd uh, gone and played with Jack on uh, on the whole uh, candy cane axe thing. And for those of you who have watched up until this point, yes, I did show myself dropping a uh, candy cane axe in. And for those of you who paused the video and then came back to this one thinking that you are gonna go find something, it is a sound that I just uh, I, I created over here. So I hope I hope you're not too mad at me. <laughs> uh, Jack wasn't wrong when he said that I was a great big troll, you know, and that's the thing. He he said he knows that I know the secret, and he's not wrong. But I want you guys to understand, I didn't tell him the secret. He still doesn't know the secret, but I did provide him proof that I know the secret. Which is more than enough. Like, he he won't bug me about it anymore. But I know that because I've said this, you guys are gonna bug me about it and be like, "What's the candy? What's the secret of the candy cane axe? What's the secret of the candy cane axe?" And you're probably gonna be bugging default here, like, "What's the secret of the candy cane axe?" You know what? Here is what I'm going to tell you. I told Defaultio. I said, "If you tell me the secret of the candy cane axe, I will never show it, and I will never tell anyone." And if I do, you can remove my friendship. That's what it is. So I will let you know. He told me the secret. And I will never tell anyone. So stop asking me. <laughs> uh, what's great is, like, Defaultio is just as much of a... And, uh, no, I'm not even going to say that. Defaultio is a great big troll. He loves putting uh, trollish things in place. I mean, that's why we have Squidward paintings in the middle of puzzles where you have to figure out that it's a picture of his face. That's why in Cone, you go through three different... You go through a level... You go through the entire game three different times. Like, once you go around and then you come back 
twice, you collect up all the skulls and you come back. And the third time, you get all the way to the end and you get the, the jump jets. And you come all the way back just to go through on the, uh, the storm drain level. And find the hidden secret that's up in the, uh, the, the tunnel. Okay, so there's there's an area where the water is spouting down and you have to like close off the water in order to get past it. If you take, um, I think you have to take a box. I don't remember if it's a box or something. It's something that you have to jump off of, but you have to jump off of it with the jump boots. So you're like jump, jet, and then kind of shimmy into the little hole that's up there. If you can do that, you get to the very end of the hallway and there's the picture that he used to code all the big boxes, all these boxes, inside the game. And if you don't know which picture I'm talking about, it's the it's the pixel it's the eight bit pixel image of him. And inside of his eyes are two gray dots. Deliver my sight. That's that's the clue for the shrine of sight, where he delivers you a Squidward painting, which still exists. If you can if you can get the the boxes, and if you can put them in. Uh, on the left one is the 12, and on the right one is the 13, where they're clicked like 23 and 22 times. If you can get them, and if you can put them in, you can still get one of these awesome Squidward paintings, which I have many. Hold on, can I get up there? Let's go, let's go get up there. Right here. Here they are. Uh-oh. Can I click it? Look at that. Look at that awesomeness. I should hook those up and do something with them. Maybe maybe do some circuits that, that go off once an hour on the on the hour. Oh my gosh, that would be Oh, that would be so horrible. Okay, hold on. I gotta do that. Should I do that? No, I don't want to do that. That would be so annoying. Every 30 minutes just going off. Bold and brash, bold. Okay, I'm bored. Uh, I, I kind of want to get out of here and uh, go play some Subnautica. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, where I've been sitting here cleaning, talking to you guys, and just having fun because that's what I like. I love YouTube for that aspect. I can come in here and I can vent, I can talk, I can give examples, I can give shout outs and thanks to everyone that was inside the stream earlier uh, yesterday. Thank you. I love you guys. I love all of you. And I think you're amazing. You're awesome and you're unique. There's nobody else in the world who's like you. And that's awesome. That's amazing. That's special. I love you guys. Have a great night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. And all that other stuff that I'm supposed to call out. But it doesn't really matter because in the end, it's your choice. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.